Hey everyone, it's Brett Hornby here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome back to another Calgary Stampeders game day video post, a little later than I planned it, but after work and running errands yesterday, I did not have any internet or even TV with uh, service out, so that's why I am late, but game day post, week 11 in the 2022 CFL regular season. There's we're about the third week of August. On Saturday, August 20th, the Calgary Stampeders are on the road to take on the Toronto Argonauts. Or I like to call this one current Stampeders versus Stampeder East, because there's definitely a lot of former Stampeders on the Toronto Argonauts at very capacities but I'm gonna say this game is kind of an unknown right now as both teams seem to be underachieving at this stage of the season right now both teams are I say are competitive but I don't think right now look like to be contenders for the Grey Cup Toronto right now is four and four but they're first in the weaker East division well, my Calgary Stampeders, they are 5-3, and three, stuck in third in the Western Division, as Calgary has not beaten any top teams right now, and I do feel that this is a kind of a must-win game for the Calgary Stampeders, or I would realistically think they could be 5-5 five and five, head into Labor Day, because after this week, the Calgary Stampeders are going to be taking on the... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on the road, and I'm going to say the Winnipeg Blue Bombers are going to be rested and probably a little pissed off as they lost their last game in overtime 20-17 by the Montreal Alouettes, and then they have a bye, so they have next week to think about it. But I'm going to say both teams are also coming off losses last week's, actually in week 10, that the Toronto Argonauts lost 34-27 to against their rivals. The Hamilton Tiger Cats in a very, very heated game. All my Calgary Stampeders are fresh off of losing 41-40 to against the BC Lions. I'm going to say like last week with the Calgary Stampeders, I'm going to expect a lot of yards passing because Andrew Harris is out for the season for the Toronto Argonauts and they don't really have a proven running back, steady running back right now. That I know for the Toronto Argonauts, while well, the Calgary Stampeders, although we've proven we have depth at uh, running back, because Kadeem Carey is out once again this week, and Dedrick Mills is listed as a starter with Peyton Logan, but even Dedrick Mills was a little banged up in practice. So I'm going to expect a lot of air attack, both from Bo Levi Mitchell for Calgary and Cloud Bethel Thompson. For the Toronto Argonauts, and I'm going to have to watch out for some former Stampeders. Let's say Tavares Daniels and Eric Rogers. I'm receiving, as well as Ron Breskison. I think he is going to be in the lineup. But I think for the Calgary Stampeders, I think last week our first overall, first round pick, not first overall pick, in Jalen Philpot. I think we could expect a breakout performance from him, but this this game will not start until... Well, it'll be 5 o'clock Mountain at BMO Field, which will be 7 o'clock Eastern in Toronto. And then the other thing you got to always wonder about with Toronto is how many people are going to be at the game. I mean, it seems pretty sad that in a market of 5-plus million people that they can't even draw 10,000 fans to a game. You think, you think in Toronto, a market of that size, that it'd be at least, you know, 25,000 out of that 5 million plus that like the CFL, but uh, I think this this game, I'm indifferent what to expect. I can expect another high-scoring, pass-happy game like we had last week in Calgary, and maybe an emotional game that Toronto had with the Hamilton Tigers, or we could see another defensive struggle too at the same time with the, like the Ottawa Red Blacks scheme, but I do feel like that uh, looking at the strength of schedule and the Calgary Stampeders, 
this somewhat feels like a must win because I'm being realistic that I think Calgary is really going to be struggling in Winnipeg next week. And keep in mind, the game in Winnipeg will be a Thursday night game. And I say Winnipeg is going to be coming off of a bye, pissed off because he lost in overtime. But that's how I feel about Calgary right now is we're a good team, but we, our three losses have all come against Winnipeg and BC that how the team looks right now will be uh, one and done in the semifinals in the playoffs. But uh, it's only the third week of August. Things could still change. Maybe we could still get any cuts or, you know, things teams evolve. But uh, I just feel indifferent about both sides right now. That I think Toronto is the best team in the East in the weaker division. I think Calgary is better than what they've shown, but what they've shown so far against the top teams says otherwise. But, uh, yeah, this is my Calgary Stampeders game day video post for week 11 against the Toronto Argonauts in Toronto. So, anyways, like I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, all well, the Flames, Hitman, Horrific Stampeders, as well as the Calgary FC, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, as I mostly do talk Calgary sports on my YouTube channel. And, yes, I will be also getting ready to make a couple videos on some transactions that our Calgary Flames have made. As I said, I was delayed because I had no internet service last night. But I also do have a variety of non-sports content on my channel, like personal vlogs, attempt to call me, and also do sharing experiences. Let's say I'm on the road or a sport event, so if that all sounds like an interest to watch to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey, you know you do, just uh, make sure you like, subscribe. And I also do have my second channel, like Brett Hornby Shorts, where I exclusively put my short-form content on there, so I... Appreciate you start both here on my main channel as well as my second channel. Uh, say, for example, I'll recap the game tonight between the Calgary Stampeders and the Toronto Argonauts and what stood out in this game. I'm just going to say it's a mystery box what I expect for this game tonight. How I feel both as a Calgary Stampeders fan and just what I expect. But you could say this game is going to be kind of a, a reunion game as I meant to say. As there's a lot of former Stampeders uh, are with the blue, double blue. So, thanks for watching. Go Stamps Go, and I'll see you in the next video.